The Dreamcast died almost 15 years ago, but it's hard to forget about this epic video game console. There are so many crazy Japanese games on this system that deserve a little attention. So here's our top 5 weirdest Sega Dreamcast games. Time to plug in your old dusty Dreamcast again. Okay, let's start off with the familiar one. Seaman is one of those crazy Japanese games that actually came to the West. In fact, good old Leonard Nimoy did the voiceover for the narrator in this game. You'll witness before you a phenomenon like no other. A man of the sea. Seaman. In Seaman, you nurture a hybrid between a fish, a frog and a human that inhabits a virtual aquarium. Your tadpole will grow into quite a humorous friend if you're doing a good job. That, of course, means chatting with your seaman all day long. Hey, seaman, don't play that. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. Destruction plays a huge part in video games, and it's also the base in Bomber Hee Hee. In this puzzle game, you take on the role of a demolition expert, and you need to blow up a lot of buildings. The game is almost entirely playable in English because it was supposed to come out in the West too. But then 9-11 happened, which made destroying huge buildings controversial for a little while. A fun thing is that you can even drive a tank and take down whole clusters of buildings at once. Isn't that awesome? LOL! Lack of love made evolving virtual creatures cool years before Spore came out. The goal of this game is to find a way to survive and evolve to the next stage of life. Lack of love has a strong but subtle message about the way we humans treat our planet. But the game has also a less serious aspect, like a button dedicated to pissing. Yep, it's Japanese, all right. At the end of the short life cycle of the Dreamcast, Sega released Sega Gaga, an RPG featuring many Sega characters in which you battle with the evil corporation Dogma. You'll quickly discover that Dogma is just a metaphor for rival Sony, who pushes Sega out of the console business. This humorous swan song is actually pretty good and a must-play if you happen to be a Sega fan. The game was only released in Japan, but fortunately a fan translation is out there to help you. In Romania 203, you take on the role of God and have to interact with Naitahi, a student who lives in the dorm. You can do anything. Nai is living a mediocre life and it's your task to make his life more meaningful. You do this by reading his diary, moving around things in his room while he's gone and throwing balls. Oh no, sorry. With a bit of luck, you can even get him to go on a date with a fancy girl. Talk about a weird game. 
あなたがいたずらを仕掛ける適当に座ってもしもしねじくんドタキャン最低ねえ今の誰こうなりますブーマニア203